So continuing in the file called cycletour.psd. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can target specific layers in the stack and export them out as separate files, choosing the file format and the settings as you deem appropriate. I'm going to select these three layers that we have in the stack. Go to the panel flight menu and from a list, choose export as, and they will load up in the export as dialog box. We have a list on the left hand side of all three layers and we can target each of them individually and set the, the properties accordingly. So I'm going to start with the photo layer and you'll notice that it's set to PNG. So I'm going to change that to JPEG for reasons that we've already seen and I'll drop the quality down to 60%. Now we can see the size of that drop down now. And then I'll make sure that I turn on the copyright and contact info for the metadata and of course convert to sRGB. Just note that if I left click on the layer containing the logo or the layer containing the text, they are set to PNG still. Also notice that over on the right hand side, the settings such as metadata has not been updated. Those options over on the right hand side, they're not global. They are specific to each item that you will click on on that list on the left hand side. And then notice at the top left hand side, we have some scaling options, which are really for use with responsive web design. So the intention is that you create a graphic that is, well, possibly two times the size that you need, and then you can scale down in size so that when the website is coded in a way that it detects which device is viewing that site, it will then reveal a relevant graphic at the right size. So if you're on a standard desktop, it will show that one time size graphic, but if you're on a high dip or a high quality display, it will then swap that graphic out for the two times quality version. So as I say, they're really meant for responsive web design, but if I add some of those options in here, I'll add some scaling down options for a 50% and a 75% in there. And that will export all the graphics out in the list on the left hand side to those scaling options. And then finally I'll click on export. It will then take me back to the folder where we last exported to. I'll create a brand new folder and I'll call this layers just to keep them separate from all the other artwork. And then when I click on open, that actually commits the process to export those graphics out to that folder. And in bridge, these are the three graphics. Notice that they have been exported with three different versions according to the sizes that I chose, the one times, the 75% and the 50% sizes in there. Also notice that it's only the JPEG that contains the copyright and contact details. I didn't turn the option on for copyright and contact details for the two PNG layers before their export. So just be wary of that. Um, that option for adding the metadata is not a global button. You'll have to make sure that if you wish to export that information, you'll have to select each layer from the list on the left hand side in the export dialog box to include that information. But that's how you can export individual layers from Photoshop as separate files.